This is Rick. And this is Rob. From the Boiler Room. Alright, so here, here we are in the Boiler Room. Uh, Rick and Rob, and today we're going to make a bit of a modification to the Salvatore machine. I think this is like a vintage uh, 2003 machine, an excellent boiler heat exchanger on this machine. Really produces a great uh, cup of espresso. I love the machine. Uh, one thing in my journey I do want to experiment with though is to uh, look at how pressure affects the quality of the espresso. So uh, this vibration pump Salvatore machine uh, does not have a overpressure valve. So today we're going to add an OPV, an overpressure valve, to uh, the Salvatore machine. I'm going to disconnect this uh, water feed to the heat exchanger, uh, bend some pipe around, quarter inch uh, copper tubing, and uh, install the OPV probably down uh, somewhere in this area here. Okay, so we're going to start by just taking off the existing copper tubing so that we can save it for later if we want to put it back on. Okay, so we have the parts laid out here. As you can see, we're installing the overpressure valve, the OPV valve, into the Salvatore, Salvatore um, espresso machine. We're going to have an adapter that goes from this eighth-inch uh, male pipe thread to quarter-inch compression. We'll have a quarter-inch copper tube. That'll go to our T that we're installing in the feed line to the um, heat exchanger on the Salvatore machine. And we're going to cut some new compression pipe and install this quarter inch uh, compression T. Again from the boiler room here. Um, if you remember at the beginning of the video, we thought we were going to put the OPV valve in, in this general area right here, which was uh, right on top of the P-STAT. And we didn't realize if we did that, we wouldn't be able to remove the cover of the P-STAT here. So this whole space there needed to remain uh, clear. Okay, so here's our finished project on the Salvatore, where we've replaced the piece of copper tubing originally here that fed uh, from the pump to the heat exchanger. And now we've got a T built in here that actually takes us with a piece of copper tubing on the back down around to the OPV valve. The overpressure on the OPV now comes up through this piece of polyethylene tubing connected in through this connector into the reservoir. So all of our excess water goes from the OPV right back into the reservoir. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and take it up to pressure and uh, we hopefully have it set at about 10 bar for the OPV valve to kick in. That should give us about 9.5 bar through our uh, coffee puck for the espresso. Okay, let's turn it on. All right. And we'll look over here. Okay. Coming up nice and smooth. Locks in right at 10. And then up here, we got the OPV now dripping into the reservoir. Perfectly so Rob, uh, how much did this cost us to do? Well, if we look at the uh, parts expense, the total was about $46. And the bulk of that was the, the actual uh, OPV valve itself. That was about $33. I purchased that from Chris's Coffee. The rest of the parts, you know, the compression tees and uh, the compression nuts, all available at the local hardware store. Yeah, pretty easy. Yep. And uh, you and I worked about four hours on it, although we probably could have got it done in half that time. Yeah. It was fun. All right. Great. All right. Easy project. And uh, what you've got now is a really great machine that's pressure controlled, so you can do more experiments with great new coffees. Yeah. Let's make some coffee. All right. Okay, this is uh, Rick and Rob <laughs> from the boiler room. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> okay. okay, this is Rick and this is Rob from the boiler room.